Hidden Hermit here. Look at this card. This is the Page of Cups from the Night Sun Tarot. And I love this card. I love this card. And I'm, I'm not a big fan of the, the Page of Cups from the Wade Smith. That, that fish in the chalice always freaks me out. But um, the, the Page of Cups, or indeed the Princess of Cups almost, from the Night Sun, I think is a beautiful, beautiful image. This mysterious, angelic page here, um, I find incredibly evocative. Um, but I don't know why, perhaps it's because of her flowing robes, maybe, the resplendent wings, uh, the interesting halo. Maybe it's her eyes. You can see they're just sort of white, so you do get that kind of ethereal vibe to it, if you like. It's crazy good. So the Night Sun tells us that it is the earth element in water. Obviously, the cups is the suit of water. So we're thinking about our emotions. We're also thinking about how those emotions are earthed. Now, the page. Um, now, for, for, for me and a lot of tarot readers, the, the court cards do suggest some sort of um, gender influenced energy, if you like. And the pages for me... Um, it kind of suggests youth as well a very young um sometimes immature uh sometimes very vibrant energy that that comes into the readings obviously that the page in this depiction is is definitely female so um you know if you're you're putting on your fortune teller's cap you may be looking towards a, a young lady a young girl perhaps um but a youthful energy is is what i like to to, to latch on to the Page of Cups, the Princess of the Waters, if you like, tells me um, when it comes up in readings about sweetness, um, she's quite gentle and kind, a bit dreamy perhaps, sometimes a bit naive, but incredibly open emotionally. Um, on the flip side, you know, if this card is ill-dignified, you might get a sense of immaturity, lack of boundaries. Um, I think the Page of Cups as well, you know, um, it can lend that energy of um, perhaps somebody is getting in your face a little bit emotionally, you know, um, a bit all over you, perhaps. <laughs> um, I think the page can be quite selfish sometimes, um, luxurious in a, in a bad way, a little bit dreamy. And I think this is symbolized by those those whited out eyes as well, that, that ethereal element of it. Um, it has some insecurity as well with the page of cups. Now, the, the, the book that comes with the... Uh, with the night sun, um, beginnings, curiosity. I think curiosity is, is a great word for most of the pages. Um, love, yeah, love is always one of those words that can come up as well. Did I just spit all over my page of cups? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know. Um, inexperience, um, curiosity and inexperience, again, are those two words that I think apply to all the pages to a certain element. Uh, envy is another word that's used. Um, and again, we've got to apply it to the suit of cups. So emotional envy, perhaps. So it, you know, it does have a it does have a lot of depth. Now the the page in a lot of systems is that first manifestation of the of the of the element that it's in. So you you got that first step in the emotional ladder, if you like. Now for me, um, I think it's important with the night sun. You know, she's in a sort of oasis or a rock pool. Um, her feet are indeed in the water here. You can see one of her feet. Um, and she's almost protecting this cup in a way. Does that lend to that kind of selfish attitude? I do not know. I do not know. But she's she's holding on to that cup. She's not she's not offering it in any way. So perhaps that immaturity, that that young vibe, is is holding on to holding on to your emotions in that grounded way. You know. Sort of clinging on to them. I love it when the Page of Cups comes up in a reading when I use the Night Sun. I think she's a she's a, a beautiful representation of that youthful energy. She she um she fills me with hope as well a little bit. But there you go. So that's the Page of Cups from the Night Sun Tarot.